So, I finally got to talk about my favorite James Cameron movie. And they gave us this cool poster. This is the poster y'all have been seeing for this. I, I, I'm really excited to talk about this with you guys. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Abyss. This was a remaster retelling uh, or, or, or re-showing. They did this only for one day. They showed it on December 6th and it's been restored into 4K. And this is without a doubt, one of, if not my favorite James Cameron movie for a multitude of reasons, both good and bad. The film centers on a oil rig team that are commandeered by the US military because a nuclear submarine, American nuclear submarine, has crashed underground in, in the water and they don't know why, and so they are tasked with going to find it. Ed Harris is accompanied by his ex-wife, who is the queen bitch of the universe, <laughs> according to this movie. They are also tasked with Michael Bean, who is the leader of the SEAL team, who's a little bit... They find out that the sub crashed, not for natural reasons, but for a ulterior and alternate force is compelling the water around them and also keeping an eye on what is going on at the time because this movie was made just at the very end of the cold war so kind of its message was lost when the wall fell down but the message itself is still kind of present and i love this movie i it has a bunch of my favorite things deep sea water deep sea mystery ton of appeal for those who have philosophobia <laughs> and it's got great characters i love ed harris in it i like michael sheen in it mary elizabeth monastroni uh, apologies if i butchered your name she's great she's a fantastic character in this movie cameron is able to take simple kind of character traits and still make compelling enjoyable and lovable characters and you care for what happens to them in this movie there is a particular scene involving her and a uh leaking submersible that has stood out to me as one of my favorite moments in film it is incredible and the fact that you were able to watch this movie at all is incredible because i feel that cameron was going to get murdered if this movie took any longer to make this film was highly delayed because of the means and how they made this movie all of these scenes where you're seeing them underwater it's all real they took a former nuclear silo decommissioned one filled it up with something on like four to five hundred thousand gallons of water put a bunch of these sets in and put the actors in these helmets and everything and they put them down there problem was the uh, trying to collect dialogue in the scenes was almost near impossible because the helmets would make this <laughs> discharge noise so they had to edit around that it obviously took forever to film a lot of these sequences a lot of delays a lot of issues there are a lot of scenes that went way harder there's one scene in particular where mary said out loud to cameron we are actors we are not animals there's a day where Ed Harris was driving home and he had to pull over to the side of the road because he started to break down. This movie sounds like it was an utter fucking nightmare to make, but it's so fucking good because of that. I am not an advocate for people working in such environments. They used to get away with a lot of shit back in the day. The fact that Kubrick was able to do half of the shit he did, especially what he did to Shelley Duvall in The Shining, is unforgivable so i'm not saying that cameron is uh guiltless in the making of this movie he was a dedicated dick fuck while making this but did he make a movie that has stuck in my mind for a ton of reasons absolutely he has it's an amazing deep sea adventure with a bunch of characters that are relatable likable flawed but still able to pull at your heartstrings to come together against an adversary and to learn and explore and be willing to understand the unknown. Not all of them, Michael Bean particularly. Uh, I love the elements of how the mystery of the film slowly starts to take shape and take form and take presence. And as that element is slowly introduced in the movie, it becomes more and more intriguing. I've seen this movie multiple times throughout my life. I've been waiting for an updated version for forever. I still have the DVD for this movie, for God's sakes. And I brought two friends who had never seen this movie before with me, and they really liked it. If there is one complaint that they had though, and I can understand that as well, it's the ending. This was the extended version, the original director's cut, which is about near on three hours long. And the movie still, even with that director's cut, 
just kind of ends. There's this element, as I said earlier, about the rest of the world and how the surrounding events are contributing to what's happening down by this oil rig. It makes sense that they were cut, but it also takes away a lot of the overall message of the movie. And having those back in really does make the finale, the climax, which is a heartbreaking fucking climax. I love how the movie ends up until it ends because of it. It just kind of knee jerks to the end because I don't think that the studio, I don't think Fox was going to let him film anymore. Like sure he had made Terminator and sure he had made Aliens, but they're like, all right, Cameron, fuck off. A lot of the technology that was developed for this movie was used in future projects, particularly Terminator 2. And for those of you who know the scene I'm talking about and how that was contributed towards the effects that were used to help display the T-1000 in its terrifying reality, you know what I'm talking about. But I like how this movie doesn't have a big antagonist. Like, technically speaking, Michael Bean is the antagonist in this movie, but he's not a true antagonist because he's a dick it's because of the nature and the atmosphere and the conditions he's in that create him to be one it's about discovery and about wonder first and foremost for those of you who have a more modern day uh, comparison interstellar you can say that dr man is sort of the villain of that movie but Really, it's the conditions and the elements that they are in that are the adversary. Time is the adversary, and the wonder is what the driving force of that movie is. And that's what I would say for The Abyss. I love this movie. I would not have liked to work on it, but I do love this movie. So in the end, I'm going to give The Abyss a 6 out of 7. I'd love to give it a 7 out of 7, but it doesn't deserve it because, like I said, that ending, it, it, like I said, it just kind of knee jerks to the end which I'm okay with, but understandably that is a part, a complaint that I cannot uh, take away from the movie. As for the 4K restoration, I thought it was really good. The visual effects look really good. The uh, the updates uh, just for the quality of the movie looked really, really good, especially seeing it on a big screen. There's one thing though, the ending, again, there's a miniature shot, well, basically giant miniatures, there's one shot which I, I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know if the projector fucked up, but it's not in 4K. If, if the anything, it is the opposite. It is a 24p image trying to be stretched out to a 4K image, and it looks bad. It's a, probably about like a three second shot, but it's the most like, because I could even hear my two friends make the same noise at the same thing. Um, so yeah, that was the only fault I would say of the restoration. Aside from that, movie solid. I'm very much going to get the 4K when it comes out, because like I said, I've been waiting for a Blu-ray for the longest time. There was a really weird kind of not committing to it by Fox for the longest time. And admittedly, they had a good reason. This movie didn't make a lot of money. In the end, guys, those are my thoughts about The Abyss. Very much would love to know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about this movie? Tell me in the comments below. What's your favorite Cameron movie? Um, and then where would you say this one stacks with it? Be interested to see what you guys have to say. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.